Uh, these are the first uh, three books that I will be using for my self-teaching plan. Uh, it'll be uh, Thomas and Finney uh, Calculus, which I actually used uh, in my undergraduate en engineering coursework more than 20 years ago. Uh, I was able to find a new copy uh, and I've been using it and it's a great book. There, there, I'm sure there are better or just as good uh, calculus books. Uh, when picking a calculus book I'm sure you're gonna find that the selection is seemingly infinite. So I don't think you're gonna have any problems finding a calculus book uh, if you're so interested and getting started with teaching yourself math uh, on your way to retirement, as I am. Uh, now, in the case of proofs, there are a few good books on proofs. Uh, I have another book that I recently got, but I'm going to use it later because I find that this book by Richard Hammack is uh, pretty good. It's very basic, and so I think it's not going to cut it if you want to teach yourself proofs for like an undergraduate curriculum at a major university. I don't think so. I think this is more like something that you do along the way. Uh, the book is really, really good. It is self-published. It's got problems. Uh, just like Thomas and Finney for calculus, uh, it has solutions in the back for all of the odd problems. It doesn't have a ton of problems and it does uh, stop short of being like really hard, which we all need. But I find that for somebody who's teaching themselves some math, uh, it's very, very difficult. And I'll, and I'll go over, over that in more detail in a separate video. Uh, this video is all about the books that I'm using for my first year. And probably my second year, the way, the way I'm going because I have a day job. Uh, but yeah, I strongly recommend this book. I've started using it. I'm in, I'm, I'm right, right now I'm like on, pay, on chapter 4. I'm right here reading and for problems I'm on, at the end of chapter 2. I'm sorry, right here. So I've done I've done these three chapters reading and then I've completed most of the problems for the first two chapters. Uh, and so yeah, so it's got it's got some really nice basics uh, and then it's got so a lot about the different types of proofs and then it goes into uh, proofs for calculus and functions and relations and cardinality. The uh, what I would call a better, harder uh, proofs book that I just got recently, and I'll feature it in some other video, uh, is a lot harder than this. Actually, that book, uh, what this is done in here for all the types of proofs, uh, does it very quickly in like a, almost like a section in a chapter. Uh, and it, but it has a lot more, a lot more of this, like. It goes through, it, it, and that book can almost be used to teach like uh, intro analysis at a junior level for the first uh, course. So, but I, I like this book and I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to change over to the quote unquote better book. Uh, I find it a very easy read and the problems are, are pretty good. So it doesn't go hardcore, but I like it. I didn't talk too much about the calculus book because I don't think... I mean, the last thing anybody needs is another video on YouTube about a calculus book. Uh, there's only like 10,000 of them, and they're pretty good. So, I'm not sure there is such a thing as a bad calculus book. Somebody would have to work really, really hard to author a bad calculus book. Then, the bear, for me, for self-teaching, is this book in number theory. What happened to me when I started before I came up with this plan is that I was going to teach myself Galleon abstract algebra. Is it Galleon? I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. That just never happened. Uh, it's chapter zero, it's all number theory. I had no idea what they were talking about. I could, I could do a couple of the problems, but anything that got even mediocre, like mid-level hard, I just couldn't do. So I backtracked, uh, I, I likened it to people that I was telling them about uh, the equivalent of trying to climb a staircase where the first rung of the stairs is like 10 feet high. And so I had to put in new lower rungs to get to that high level, like Galleon level. And this is that book, uh, plus the calculus book, plus the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, proofs book. And so this is an, uh, an older uh, edition, this is a, this is, what edition is it? it? This is fourth edition. 
I do have the PDF for I think it's a six one and I am working out problems out of that one but I use this one because I like the hard copy I started with PDFs of the proofs book and this book and I didn't do my it didn't do the job I did not want to print reams of paper when I could just buy a used book for ten dollars and you can find these books on Amazon if you if you uh, are always looking this book is very hard it gets some negative critiques uh, but I think uh, those are unwarranted I, I really like the book uh, it has some simple problems and it has some very hard problems uh, I plan uh, my current plan is to take probably about two years to do cover to cover it's gonna take me a really long time uh, because I want to master the subject but again I'm gonna have a separate uh, video just on my scheduling uh, the cryptology chapter I think is almost like the mid mid of the of the material and so really I I think what I'm gonna do is do like a one semester course to myself for the first seven chapters and then do the rest in another again I'm going into scheduling but I'm also talking showing the book so it kinda one thing goes with the other uh, yeah so far I've read as far as to almost to the end of chapter two uh, and I've worked out a lot of the problems and it's been really difficult but also a lot of fun uh, actually my problem sets uh, for chapter one I think are like a total of 80 pages and I'll, I'll show them at some point in some other video but the problems are really good um, some are really hard and some I, I've, I've been able to figure them out um, and again self-teaching is, is very difficult but I really like this book and I've, I've seen other number theory books and I found this one to be really good it's gonna do what I needed to do for me uh, and I really like books that have lots of questions it does have answers to all of the odd problems in the back and for self-teaching that I find friends to be essential uh, a book that doesn't have answers in the back like say Artan for abstract algebra, which I have, but I'll never be able to understand it. It'll take me years to get to understand it. That's pretty good for a graduate level course book because by that time you would have done a lot of the work. But for an undergraduate book, it must have answers to the odd problems. That, that to me is a, a deal breaker, or at least hints like that other proofs book that I got recently. Uh, the book is very thorough, and I plan to have a lot of fun with it. I already have been having a lot of fun with it. Yes, uh, there is a criticism that uh, Rosen does not explain enough, okay, to get to the, the example, you get to the problems, and a lot of the problems you're like, what? Uh, and clearly some of, the, some of what's in the, in, the, in the problems was not really covered, but I don't find that to be a hindrance. I've been able to work out uh, a good number of problems in Chapter 1, and uh, I haven't found myself to be very disappointed or anything like that. I'm making progress uh, yeah so I'll do a separate video for for where my scheduling and my self teaching is going but I just wanted to have this video to show you fine folks of the interwebs the uh, three books that I'm using so I'm using Rosen for number theory I'm using uh, the hammock book for proofs and Thomas and Finney which is a classic for calculus